tonight and there's music and we're having some amazing spoken word. Um, the name of the band is One Less Felon who's playing and they get their name from the fact that Trey was actually supposed to be in their band and then was arrested right before he was supposed to be playing at the Peace March with them and they ended up playing actually without him. So we're doing, um, we're holding the fundraiser here tonight and we have some information out and we're asking for a suggested donation. Three to seven dollars and of course if people can't afford to pay it then that's totally cool and they're also welcome to come and enjoy the music. <laughs> has been arrested, it was arrested on the 13th of March in Victoria. The fear is that he's going to be extradited to the United States. And that is a fear because the FBI has made allegations against him and is, has labeled him an eco-terrorist. And under that label there's the fear that he will fall under the um, Patriot Act in the States, which can give him up to 80 years in prison. We need to define what eco-terrorism is primarily and there should be liability for the people who are destroying our lands. And if you look right here locally in British Columbia you have the Working Force Initiative which is going through under the Liberal government which is planning to take all of the public land and traded off to corporations, basically, where the public is going to have uh, no say in, in what's going to be done with this beautiful land here in British Columbia. How much of it is left? We have 12% um, is parks, um, which is not going to be touched, but the remaining 88% um, is going to be sold off to corporations. It's going to be privatized and then sold off in turn to mostly American corporations, logging companies. Trey is one of the most incredible human beings that I've ever known and he's a good friend of mine. He has a huge heart, extremely generous and lives a totally ecologically sensitive lifestyle, totally environmentally friendly in everything that he does, down to like getting food for people. He would go and get food that would otherwise have gone to waste and would go out on his bike and give it to people on the streets. This is food that would otherwise have gone to waste. He's a raw vegan and really respectful. He would go out of his way to provide people with Tupperware so that they wouldn't be using um, styrofoam. and really peaceful in any sort of, um, in anything that I've been involved with him with. I did some, um, worked with him in doing the peace marches in Halifax and organizing for the peace movement last spring. And um, yeah, he just has a really like non-violent, peaceful approach to everything that he does. Cool. And he's an active community member and is, you know, known by a lot of people and is, totally like dedicated to Mother Earth and to all all beings. What can people in Portland do to help him? Um, in Portland there is um, well firstly like sending letters on the Portland Indy Media site there's an address that's given where they can send him letters of support um, and also um, there is a fund that's been set up called the Treyaro Legal Defense Fund um, which can be found at www.treyarrow.org and there you can give financial donations to go towards his legal defense fund. And just like pray and put the light and the energy out there to, to save the people who are trying to save the earth. How's he doing now? Um, he's, he's doing pretty well. I spoke with him yesterday morning and I've been speaking with him mostly every day. He um, has been fasting since the 13th of March as a token of solidarity with those who don't have access to, um, to ha adequate healthy food 
and also to protest the lack of justice in the U.S. Uh, justice system. That's no problem. And mind. in the U.S. government, yeah, he's been fasting since the 13th, I think it's like, what is that, 35, 36 days now. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, he's just been drinking water, And but when I saw him last, which is less than a week ago, he was, um, like, strong and alert and he's really still really like got a lot still has a lot of energy and um, we need to get him out of there yeah.